Hey Lisa, um, I'd like to talk to you about your blood pressure. So your blood pressure has been um, rising since the beginning of your pregnancy. Um, you're now 34 weeks and your blood pressure is 142 over 88. So this is um, on the higher end. Um, it's not within the normal range. So in the state of Idaho, um, if a person develops hypertension during pregnancy, they can no longer birth out of the hospital. So you're not there yet, um, but I just wanted to discuss it um, before we get there. Um, so hopefully we don't get there. So um, last time your blood pressure was 134 over 84, and today it's 142 over 88. So this being your first pregnancy, your body's going through a lot of changes and um, sometimes your system just has a harder time keeping up with these changes and that's okay. Um, I don't want you to feel like um, bad about it or anything. Um, this is common and we're gonna work together to see if we can get this blood pressure under control. So um, a couple of the things that I would really like you to focus on is um, exercise, how often are you exercising? Um, I'd like to see you exercise every day, even if it's just going for a walk after dinner, that still can really benefit you a lot. Um, I would like to see you start taking a baby aspirin every day. I want you to take the baby aspirin at nighttime before you go to bed every single day to help keep your blood pressure under control. Um, you can take calcium supplements, um, chlorophyll or spir spirulina. Um, I want you to also try to change your diet. So less sugar, less carbs, less starches, lots of protein, lots of vegetables. Um, you can start eating raw garlic every day. This actually can help to balance blood pressure as well. Um, one to four cloves a day. I know it sounds like a lot, but it really does show to help. Um, drink lots and lots and lots of water. Um, do you feel like there's anything in your life that may be increasing your stress? Um, sometimes stress can cause high blood pressure, and so um, doing stress relieving activities or therapy um, can really help with your blood pressure. So those are some things that I would like to see you focus on. Quiet, please. Um, so after you have two readings that are above 140 over 80, so you've already had one, if you have another one, um, I will recommend a referral um, that will be to a obstetrician, um, and they can do some collaborative care and see if we can get your blood pressure under control. Um, if your blood pressure is able to be controlled with um, medication, um, hypertensive drugs, then that's something that we can discuss about doing co-care. If it's not, um, then this could be a warning sign that you're developing preeclampsia, and that would definitely warrant a hospital birth. I don't want to put you in an unsafe position, and so um, at Mama. that point, I would recommend transfer to an OB or a nurse midwife in the hospital, and then you can do some co-care if that's what your desire is. Um, does all of this make sense? Do you have any other questions? Anything I can help clarify for you? Um, I want you to really focus on, um, like I said, stress relieving activities, baby aspirin every single night, um, lower carbs, increase protein, increase vegetables, low sugar, and drinking lots and lots of water. Um, I'm going to actually send you home with a blood pressure cuff and I want you to take your blood pressure every single day and we're going to meet again in um, two weeks and see how you're doing. Um, if, you have, if you're having any warning signs like hot flashes or feeling really dizzy or sick, um, of course if you're having any signs of labor, be sure to call me, okay? Thank you.